see the room isn't fully complete, but it's always a good idea to test sound insulation as early as you can in the project because the purpose of testing early is that if you think there could be potentially a noise or sound insulation issue between two properties, you want to know early uh, and early in the development so that it allows you to take corrective action if necessary. So that's why we would always suggest that you test as early as you can. So I'm just going to set up the equipment and uh, I'll be back to you shortly. carry out sound insulation tests on site and give you the results on site. It's possible to transfer the data and show you the graphs on site, show you, you know, if a wall is underperforming, uh, we can show you where the dips are at certain frequencies and that. So it is important to recognize that we can deliver sound insulation tests on site so there's no time so that it's so that if correction, corrective action needs to be taken, uh, you're in a position to do that as soon as is possible. So I'm just going to finish the rest of the installation and I'll be back to you shortly. So I'm back in the source room right now. Uh, I have obviously a laptop on site. Uh, I have my instrument here. I'm now going to transfer the data from the instrument onto the laptop. And using a specific software, I can work out and determine the sound insulation value uh, in terms of this test and report it on site. And sometimes it's quite useful for me to explain to a contractor, for example, uh, if a wall is underperforming, I can show them the graphs, I can show them where it's weak, uh, why it hasn't met the guidance values. And as well as that, one important thing that is very separate to sound insulation testing is, what do you do if you have a situation where it doesn't meet the guidance values? So while I'm on site, for example, you can arrange to have it so that if there is an issue, I can go through the details of the construction and look at why it's not likely to be achieving the performance values and advise you on remedial works and, and changes that you could make in terms of uh, trying to improve the situation based on how far the properties have progressed um, and constraints that might exist. So keep that in mind when you're hiring somebody to carry out sound insulation tests it is important to ensure that you have somebody that's actually going to be able to advise you and not only advise you but is qualified to advise you and just keep that in mind it isn't always the case there are companies offering sound insulation test services who offer it at a technician level who carry out the sound insulation test but they are not qualified to give you acoustic advice to give you advice on remedial works on changes that can be made uh, essentially because they haven't studied acoustics in a at a level would say where you, you would need that um, theoretical information in terms of understanding what's likely to improve or how it can improve. So uh, I'll progress with the rest of the test. <laughs> 